Bobby Brown was the only Cobra Kai fighter that Daniel LaRusso didn't beat. In fact, Bobby severely injured Daniel with a surprise kick. Could Bobby have beaten both Daniel and Johnny in the 1984 All-Valley Tournament? And would Bobby beat them both today in the Cobra Kai series? I'm Ken Cole, and if you're a fan of The Karate Kid and Cobra Kai, you've come to the right place. Previously, I made a video about who would win in a fight. Mike Barnes, Chosen, Johnny, Tommy, Dutch, or Bobby Brown. In that video, I shared the idea that Bobby really was a dark horse that could have beaten Daniel and Johnny and won the All-Valley Tournament, if Kreese would have let him. Though some of the comments mentioned the fight between Daniel and Bobby at the soccer tryouts, where Daniel appeared to beat Bobby, we'll get to that in a little bit. So, was Bobby the best? Let's review what we know about Bobby Brown. Next to Johnny, Bobby was the Cobra that we saw fighting the most in the first Karate Kid movie, and he was really good. The first time we saw him fight was in Cobra Kai class. Then we saw him win his matches at the All-Valley Tournament with authority and style before facing Daniel. Bobby made it to the semifinals, and if he would have beaten Daniel, he would have faced Johnny for the championship. By the way, many viewers questioned whether Bobby was or was not the runner-up to Johnny in the previous year's All-Valley Tournament in 1983, where Johnny won first place. So let's see if we can settle that. The key is the tournament announcer in the first Karate Kid movie. May I have your attention, please? If you listen closely, you can hear the announcer in the background. But Sensei, I can beat this guy. I don't want him beat. But I'll beat his- There's some controversy because in the Cobra Kai series, Tommy says Johnny beat him in the finals in 1983. Remember that tournament back in 83? You beat Vidal to get to the semis. Yeah. Who beat me in the finals? <laughs> All right, yeah, but you didn't make it easy on me. Which contradicts the announcer in Karate Kid 1. Let me know what you think in the comments, but I'm going to have to go with the 1984 announcer here, and that Bobby was second place in 1983. It was just a year earlier, and I'm sure we would have seen Tommy raging if the announcer got that wrong. Also, Johnny was a two-time champion. <laughs> which would have been in 1983 and 1982. So maybe Tommy and Johnny meant the 1982 All-Valley when they were sophomores. So the 83 All-Valley Bobby was a top fighter in the finals with Johnny and was really motivated to win the 84 All-Valley with another year of training under his belt. But here's the depressing part for Bobby. Kreese really favored Johnny as his star student. Bobby always tried to please Kreese, but he didn't seem to have that killer instinct Kreese valued. So we get to the critical moment when Bobby was about to fight Daniel, but then Kreese wanted Bobby to sacrifice himself. And listen to his confidence when he said, but Sensei, I can beat this guy. And he was probably right. Keep in mind this was after he saw Daniel take down Tommy, Dutch, and maybe Jimmy. So I think Bobby knew he could have beaten Daniel, and there's a good chance he would have won that fight if it played out fairly. Sadly, Bobby goes along with Kreese's wishes, and right off the bat, he delivers a beautiful flying sidekick with precision, which Daniel is not able to defend against. I mean, look at how Kreese misused Bobby's incredible skills. In Bobby's opening move, he severely injured Daniel, more so than any other single move against Daniel in the entire movie. He got himself disqualified, and he let Johnny be champion without fighting. Well, until Daniel got better and came back. That's pretty evil of Kreese, and it kind of proves that he favored Johnny and wanted to protect him as Cobra Kai's star student. And in a newly released deleted scene, after being disqualified, Bobby takes off his belt and throws it on the ground in front of Kreese, quitting Cobra Kai for good. So could Bobby have beaten Johnny in 84? We'll never know for sure, which is tragic, because Bobby was clearly working hard to be the All-Valley champion. But if you compare how Bobby did against Daniel to how Johnny did against Daniel, there are hints that Bobby could have beaten Johnny. Let's look at that fight with Daniel. Bobby landed a beautiful flying sidekick that completely caught Daniel off guard. And Daniel was not injured, he had 100% mobility at this point, and didn't dodge or defend himself. Some commenters said that Bobby performed an illegal kick, so Daniel couldn't have defended himself. It's an interesting point, though here's the thing. Bobby was obviously coming at Daniel from the air, and until the last moment, 
it could have been a legal kick. Bobby could have easily targeted Daniel's midsection or another area that would score him a point and not get him disqualified for deliberate and intentional contact. In fact, Daryl Vidal tried some flying kicks of his own against Johnny, and guess what? Johnny moved to defend himself. So uninjured Daniel should have either moved or put up some kind of defense. The fact that he didn't means that Bobby was able to catch Daniel off guard for the first time in the tournament, which points to his high level of skill. Compare that to an injured Daniel scoring two quick points on Johnny. It really seems that Johnny wasn't as balanced, level-headed, and maybe even as skilled as Bobby when fighting Daniel. We won't ever know for sure, but I think it's likely that in 84, Bobby could have beaten both Johnny and Daniel for the championship. And I'll go even further. And I'll say that Kreese knew it too, and he wanted to protect Johnny, his favorite star student. During the Cobra Kai Season 4 All-Valley Tournament, Kreese admits he wanted Johnny, not Cobra Kai, to be number one. I care more about you than anyone. Sacrifice my soul just so Cobra Kai could stay number one? That is not true. I wanted you to be number one. He favored Johnny over the entire Cobra Kai dojo, including, sadly, Bobby. So I think Kreese wanted Bobby disqualified because Kreese knew deep down that Bobby could have beaten Johnny for the championship. So that's it. Bobby could have beaten both Johnny and Daniel, right? Well, I know some of you are saying, wait a second, Ken. Bobby and Daniel did fight on the soccer field at tryouts, and Daniel beat Bobby. And that was before Daniel had any Miyagi training. Well, let's look at what was really going on with that fight. Let's back up a couple of minutes. Daniel finishes talking to Allie, and Johnny gives a signal to Bobby, a slash across the throat, which means kill him or get rid of him. Bobby signals he gets it and turns to scheme with Tommy and Jimmy. Then Johnny talks to Dutch, who smiles. So everything we see next is part of a setup. During tryouts, Bobby quietly taunts Daniel before tripping him. And that immediately sets Daniel off. Daniel tackles Bobby and punches him across the face. Bobby doesn't defend himself or fight back on purpose because it's in front of the coach and the Cobras are trying to make Daniel look bad and it works. The coach kicks Daniel off the team. There's no place on this team for that kind of crap. Well, he helped me, man. I said out of here. And Johnny and the Cobras admire their handiwork. So I don't consider this to be a real fight or showcase for Bobby's skills because it's all a setup to make Daniel look like a violent kid and a bad sport. His school sucks, man. So what about today in the Cobra Kai series? Could Bobby beat both Daniel and Johnny? Well, Bobby's now a pastor, though we know he still has his karate skills judging by the fight at Big Bear, and he was able to take down a drunk Johnny in his church. Does this mean he's better than Johnny? <laughs> well, Johnny was in a pretty bad state, so we can't know for sure, but depending on Bobby's adult backstory and whether he trained under different teachers, I think it's possible he could be at least as good as Johnny. And judging how evenly matched Daniel and Johnny seem to be, it puts Bobby at least on par with both of them. All of that's to say that a street fight between any of them today should be pretty epic. And if they all teamed up, they would be a formidable force. We'll need to wait for season five and beyond to see if Bobby appears once again. And if you've been enjoying this video, hit the like button and you'll help more people see it. And hit that subscribe button and you'll help this channel grow. And if you're a Cobra Kai, Tom Cole, or Terry Silver fan, I think you'll love Cobra Cole which you can watch right now. See you next time.